What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Donnie B here. Today, we're talking backpacks. And we're talking about specifically the best budget backpack I think you can get right now. This is the Yolanzi BP-09 22 liter bag. Uh, and the only reason that I call it budget is because of the price. Uh, it's not budget in any other category except for price. So it's $89. Uh, right now on Amazon, it's listed at $109, but it's got the $20 coupon that you can check to get at checkout. So it retails on the Yolanzi website for $89.99, and I do believe it's the best budget bag you can get right now. It's got one thing going for it that you can't really find on a lot of other bags, especially at this price point, but more on that later. So starting with outside, it is remarkable how much it favors the PGY Tech One Mo bag. This bag is $239. It does come in black. This is the camo, so it it is extremely similar in a lot of ways. So this 25 liter, this is 22 liter. Um, but this isn't a comparison video. It's more of a, a showcase on the BP-09. So it's made from a weatherproof and scratch proof material. It's almost rubberized, soft touch feel and has pockets galore. So starting with the front or back, whatever this side is, you got one large pocket here that is perfect for notebooks, phones, chargers, wallets, passports, things like that, easily accessible. And then you have another large pocket here that has mesh pockets here, a zippered mesh pocket there, for perfect for cables batteries, filters, things of that nature. There's also another pocket here. This pocket does not extend the whole length of the lid. It only goes to right here, but still perfect for keys and things like that. Just a lot of organization options. Just a lot of options when it comes to organizing. This pocket will also fit my uh, Weeble S gimbal, even though I don't use it as much as I should, but it will fit. So moving around to the straps, Nice wide padded straps. There's also four spots on each strap for your uh, capture clip or the new Yolanzi F38 quick release version two. More on that to come. And then an adjustable sternum strap. So it just slides up and down on both sides. The padding is nice and wide and thick. Very comfortable to wear. The padding on the back has ridges and ventilation is done really well for ventilation on your back. I've worn it for several hours at a time and haven't really had a whole lot of issues with my shirt getting wet. So there's a handle right here in the middle that's also doubles as a luggage pass-through for sliding it on your case. And then the side handle. This handle is probably what I use 99% of the time when I'm not wearing it. It's perfect for sticking it in the overhead bin on an airplane or just carrying it to and from the car. Now, the one thing that I was talking about that not a lot of other bags do is that you see you got your tripod pocket here along with the strap for securing it, but you also have a second one on this side. Now, as far as I know in this category, the 22 liter, the only other bag that I know that does this is the Peter McKinnon version two. That is a very expensive, almost $400 bag. So for me, that's just out of reach. There's not even any sense in talking about it because I'll never buy it. I did a poll on Twitter or X that asked how many people actually use the side pocket access. Is it a gimmick? Do people actually use it? Me personally, I'm not a fan of it. I've never used it or used it very little. But in case you are one of those people that like the side access, so not only do you have that second tripod pocket or water bottle pocket, but this pocket also doubles as side access. See, I have a camera body there, the Canon EOS R, but also, on this lid is a compartment for storing three different batteries. It does fit the Canon LPE6 or the uh, Sony batteries. I did check to see how versatile it was. And then, oh, it got dirty. You also have several points on it to where you can attach these additional straps that come pre-installed on the bottom. But they just unhook. I wouldn't necessarily call this a travel bag. It's more of a day bag, kind of an everyday thing. 22 liters is kind of that happy medium to where you can throw a body and a few lenses in there and just take off. 
If you're looking for something that's more expandable or more travel friendly, they did just release the BP-10 alongside this one. It's more of a hard shell design and it's also expandable from 25 liters, I believe, to 35 liters. And of course, there will be links to all of this in the description below. Oh, and the zippers are also waterproof and theft proof. They have this little loop. I believe PGY Tech started that, where you just pull that through and they're just, can't be opened up easily. So before we get into the inside of this bag, there's one thing that I'm not really a fan of, and there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Some people might like it. It was kind of annoying to me. And you're about to see it right now. So they've attached these straps. They're sewn, stitched in on this side and Velcro on this side. And just Velcro's there. There's one on each side. I don't know why they would do that. I mean, I've, they're not elastic or anything. They just keep it from falling open, but. I normally just tuck them in to these pockets. So once you open it up, you see you got two more zippered mesh pockets for cables, filters, batteries, chargers, whatever you like. There's also a laptop compartment that will hold a 15 inch laptop and a padded sleeve for tablets or iPads. So they claim that you can fit two bodies and four lenses and all of your accessories, filters, chargers, things like that or you could fit one body, two lenses, and then the drone remote and all the accessories that go with that. I haven't tested any of these theories, but I do believe them. Also, if you look in here, you see that white tag. That is a secret pocket for an AirTag, and it does also fit the Samsung SmartTag 2. There's actually one in there now. You're just gonna take my word for it because it was impossible to get in there, but it's in there. They've also included this matching little tech organizer. Not much to it. There's a couple mesh pockets in there. You could put maybe a pocket light, a few batteries, maybe the battery charger. There's a carabiner to where you could hook it on one of these loops. And there's also a pass through if you wanted to put it on the strap or something like that. But just nice little addition for the $89. So like I said before, I think this is a great last minute gift idea for the photographer or videographer or the crew. So like I said before, I think this is a great last minute gift idea for the photographer or videographer or creative in your life. I will leave affiliate links in the description below. I'll leave one to Amazon to where you can get it in two days. And for international customers, I'll also leave a link directly to the Yolanzi website. Now by purchasing through these links, I do earn a small commission that supports the channel directly. But if you decide not to purchase anything through them, then I'll you can always support us by hitting that like button or consider subscribing. So that's going to do it for this one. I appreciate you stopping by. If I don't see you before the holidays, then I hope you get to spend it with the people that you care about and people that care about you. As always, take care of yourselves. You know you deserve it. I'm Donnie B, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.